Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel, and this is showing off Sagoza's new vehicle assembly tool for Nitto 1320 Legends recreation in Unity 3D. So I got some files from him, uh, which if you would like to help out with this, you can just contact us on Discord. Mainly contact him, it's a little bit easier for him to do this. Wow, it knows where my mouse is at all times. Anyway, so it's actually easier to probably contact him on Discord to actually get the files that you need and things like that in order to help out with the assembly process. Basically, we need help with this because there's over 160 cars in the game and we need the XML files to tell the game where to put the body parts, basically. Like, where does this wheel go? Where does this wheel go? Where does this wing go? Where does the hood go? Etc. 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 And that file tells us. So we basically build it here and then we just export it when we have it correct and then if needed Sagoza can slightly modify it. Which is pretty simple. It makes things really nice, really easy, gets the community involved to help. So if you would like to help out with this part of the project we are going to attempt to try to have something special in the game for anybody who helps out near the end of it. And if you want to see like references of the cars, you can actually come to this website, igcd.net, and you can browse the cars here as they were assembled in the game to try to give yourself unplayable vehicles. They were definitely playable vehicles. To try to give yourself a little guide to follow to get the cars put together. Now, rear view is not here for most of the cars, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, the cars are generally not available in rear view on this website, but if you just go on Google and type in like Nitto 1320 Legends and then the car name, you can generally find the rear view on the uh, actual game. So, and then, you know proceed to use the image to try to put it together. So as of this moment, I'm pretty sure I have the Evo done as well as I can get it. The only problem with it is I can't seem to figure out what happened to this thing. There it is. So I need to basically get this in the right place, which I'm not sure where the right place is for this because we don't want it showing over the top. But we also don't want it showing up too much. And trying to use the files provided here, I thought a good idea would be, oh, open up some of the SWF files in JPEGs and see where they were coded to be. Well, unfortunately, that doesn't work very well as a guide. So it says this should be 363, 196. Unfortunately, it's actually 53113, so I don't know where their anchor point was, but that doesn't work here. So you can also see things like different variants of parts. So let's say the bumper. You can do part variants and actually see the different kits. I think the bumper needs to move just a little. I can't tell. Where does it connect? Right there. Okay. But that also means I need to now move the grill a little bit because the grill is now off center. But I can just move it like that. And you can also see different part variants here too. So like there's one of the other grills, this one. The stock one is actually underneath it. So you can go like this and you can see the stock one. But that's pretty much all you have to do to try to get this in order. And then you just hit export. And this is vehicle name. Uh, shoot, I should probably go to the actual vehicle here. Evo. There we go. So this is the 2004. Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8. And then you put your name for helping out right here. And that's the front view. That's all it takes. And then you can switch to the back view and try to do the back view. Nice thing about back view is you have the guideline to go off of. There isn't a guideline, unfortunately, for the front. And I really kind of wish there was because that would make things so much easier. 
But as you can see, we have the shadow. So we kind of can try to move that into place first. Then the undercarriage, which it's not easy when you have uh, all this stuff here. But you can generally try to move it around and stuff like that. Body actually doesn't move, I noticed. Which I think actually might make things more difficult, but that's okay. So you can also hide this if you need to be able to see what you're doing. We're going to put that there. Fender effects. We're just going to move those out of the way for a moment. Ah, the line. Why did I move the line? Let's move the line and line it up perfectly with the original body. And then we can move the bumpers and stuff into place. That's what makes the rear kind of simple compared to doing like the front and stuff like that. And then side skirts, which you can hide this too, which help a lot. There we go. So that goes about there. I can try to manually move it later. Any spoiler that might exist goes here ish. Let's get the trunk in place real quick because that'll be helpful. And move these wheels, tire F, tire R, body OP. I don't know where this goes actually. Is it a front thing? I have no idea what that is. Tail lights. We can move those around to try to get them in the right place. Not very difficult, thanks to having the guideline. And the wheel masks, which definitely help. So now I can move that front wheel into place more properly. I shouldn't be seeing it over this. There we go. So it should be there. But I want to move this out of the way so I don't really mess it up too much because it just makes it a little easier to get the car set up correctly. And I need to move undercarriage. I think that's, no, that's this. It goes about there. Tire F? No, that's this. I'll figure that out. Is it undercarriage? No. What am I doing? Losing my mind is what I'm doing. What is this thing? Is it tire back? Yes, it is. There we go. And then body OP. I still don't know what that is. But the uh, wheel masks I'm going to move up and out of the way so I can actually see everything that I'm doing. So now we just got to figure out the placement for these things. So tire F is definitely not where it should be. Down, down. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are not where they should be for this, now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. This is a lot harder than it looks. I'll completely admit it. Let's, let's just reset. Where did it go? It needs to be behind the body. Where in the world does this wheel go? <laughs> because the body shouldn't show through right there.
Oh, that's right. That's what the wheel mask is for. Duh. But I definitely have the wheel too high. So I want to, like, move it down. Which means I also need to move the wheel mask. So let's see, where is this thing now? I think that looks good. I'm not sure. I think that's good. Now we need to move tire R. We need to move it so it's behind the body. And we need to also move this thing because that's really annoying. What even was that thing? Tire back? Here, we're gonna not set that as active even. There, that looks about right. Let me put this about here. You can actually just line it up with the outline now that I'm thinking about it. And then we also need tire back, make that show. And we can move it so it's lined up properly. Oh, this goes on the other side now that I'm thinking about it. Ah, oh, my bad. There we go. Now we just need to put these things in place, which is fender effects. I believe go about there. It's really difficult. So one of the ways I used to line stuff up in like Photoshop and things like that, I know what this is now. One of the ways I used to line stuff up and things like that in Photoshop or Fireworks is by basically zooming in because you kind of need to zoom in sometimes to get the really fine details and as far as I can tell there's no way to zoom in you also can't change the screen size which is for a reason for the XML files so I think if I can recommend one change to this to Segoza it's going to be allowing the ability to zoom in on the model to get fine placement details but again that can also be something we add later or even just fix later on in the game so but that's basically the back view of the car being built and completed so now we just go export 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8 Tech X and we hit export and it exports everything to the export folder which out of curiosity I wanted to see it yeah. so this is for the back of the car and front of the car which is really nice super simple easy done and that's how we line stuff up for the vehicle assembler, which uh, only runs right now for Windows. But, you know, who knows if maybe in the future we can make this its own little separate customization game. I've already given Sagoza that idea, and he liked the idea too. But obviously right now their primary idea is get Legends working. Because it was a fun game, we all miss it. And let's, you know, get it working. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are excited for the Legends Project. Peace out.